The Emu deck just had some major updates, especially on the interface. Let's go through all the changes in this video. If you already have Emu deck installed on your Steam Deck after you open up the Emu deck, the update message will pop up. If you did the update in this way, it will not mess up your current emulator's configuration. Then it will show all the latest changes with this page. I will cover all the major changes in this video, so we can click back to home on this page. Ok, here are the main interface of the latest Emu deck, and this is completely changed. So don't be panic, I will explain everything here. Let's go to USB transfer wizard. This feature basically allow us to plug in a USB flash drive into the Steam Deck. Then the email deck will create the ROM folder and BIOS folder on the USB flash drive. Then we can unplug the USB flash drive and plug into a PC. And then we can copy game ROMs and BIOS files from PC into the USB flash drive. After that, we can plug the USB flash drive back into the Steam Deck and then the email deck will import all ROMs and BIOS files into the emulation folder. But I feel this way is too much. I have already made a video show how to easily trace files between Steam Deck and PC. You can check out this video on my channel. Now let's move to the quick settings. On this page, we can change the aspect ratios and LCD shaders anytime for retro gaming emulation. The next one is Manage Emulators. This is pretty useful feature. We can update all emulators and configurations here. As we can see here, I have some configurations and emulators need to be updated. So I suggest to check this section every week and always make sure your emulators are up to date. I will quickly update my configurations and emulators here. When you update the emulators, make sure you check both flat pack and app image on this page. The next thing we can do here is to install individual emulator. Also, if we click onto any emulators here, we can reset emulator configuration and reinstall update or uninstall the emulator from here. If your emulators run into any kind of problems, the first thing you can do is try to reset the configuration from this page. Now let's go back and move to the next feature, the Emu Deck Store. From here we can install free homebrew and games. Next, let's look at tools and stuff. The first one, Steam Room Manager, is the most important tool that we need to use every time if we want to add emulation games into Steam Deck. Let's click and open the Steam Room Manager app. If you get this update message, just update the Steam Room Manager first. We need to restart the Steam Room Manager after the update. The Steam Room Manager interface changed a lot compared to the previous version, but the function still remains same. In the middle section, we can see all different emulators with a toggle button on the back. If we switch the button on, the Emu Deck will scan the game ROM for that emulator. So I always suggest to toggle off the passwords first and only enable the emulators that you are going to use on your Steam Deck. I will only enable Xbox, PS2, PS3, and VU emulators here. Then we can click Preview button. Click the Passers button, the Emu Deck will start scanning all your game ROMs on the Steam Deck. I am assuming that you have copied the correct game ROMs and BIOS files into the correct folders. There are tons of information need to be covered for each emulator. If you want to know what game ROM format and BIOS file you need for each emulator, please check out my channel. I have already made dedicated emulation tutorials for each console on this channel. Ok, after you click passers, all your games should show up on this page. From here, we can change the game art. The last step we need to do is hit the Save to Steam button. This will create all your game titles into Steam Deck gaming mode. This is the key step to play emulation games on Steam Deck. So don't forget hit Save to Steam button here. Another powerful button on this page is Remove from Steam. If you hit this button, it will remove all your emulation game titles from SteamOS gaming mode. 
but all games will still remain on the deck. Now let's go back and close Steam Room Manager. The next feature is Quick Reset. This will bring us back to the Emu Deck Quick Installation page. If you need to quick reset Emu Deck installation, you can do from here. But most of the time, we need to use the next feature, Custom Reset. This reset will offer more options for us. On this page, we can select any emulators that we would like to install. And on the next page, we can reset any emulator's configuration. This page is very important. If you don't want to mess up with your existing emulator's configuration, please turn off your existing emulators on this page. Also, if you can't see any emulators under the parsers in Steam Room Manager, Please double check and make sure the Steam Room Manager parsers on this page is turned on and click continue until the Emu Deck finish this reinstallation process. I will not go through this reinstallation process here. Let's get back to the Emu Deck interface. The next three features are belong to Steam Deck plugins. You need to install the deck loader in order to use them. The power tool will give us more option to manage the GPU performance for emulation games. Decky Control is a tool that can be used to check out emulator's hotkey under the gaming mode. The gyroscope will enable the motion control feature for emulation games. Again, you need Decky Loader installed first, then come back to the Emu Deck and install them from here. The next tool is Emu Deck Compressor. This tool will compress our game ROMs into smaller file size in CHD format. I have tried to use this feature, but it feels sometimes, especially for the Dreamcast ROMs. I believe it is not a good idea to use this tool. The last tool is BIOS Checker. This tool is pretty handy. We can use this tool to verify if our BIOS files are valid. But just remember, some emulators just does not require BIOS files. The final feature we may need to use is Uninstall 2. This will allow us to uninstall Emu Deck from Steam Deck completely. I think that's pretty much all for this. I didn't cover the cloud backup and cloud service here, because I am working on a video project that will cover the best way to backup all emulation games and even all PC games. So stay tuned for the next video.